Last but not least, on the football scene, Cameroon is taking up a big challenge by hosting the African Championship of Nations this year at a time when the country faces security challenges caused by the Anglophone crisis and a jihadist threat in the north. The competition is the first major African football tournament organized since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. It is already a source of pride for us to organize the CHAN at home. It's an infrastructure, it's a pride. It puts everyone in a state of excitement and activity. It is with this spirit that the country is developing. You have also noticed that a special, particularly light flowing system has been put in place to allow our guests, not only on arrival and departure, to benefit from all the amenities that have been put in place. I think the government has decided to keep the CFF that it will have a distance in the stands. Then we will do the same in the fan zone to avoid the risk of contamination. In addition, we will make sure that everyone can wear the mask. This is the minimum we can demand and you also know that everyone who will enter the stadium we will take the temperature at the entrance. Normally, it will be a reduced chance because with the pandemic, it can't go on. It has brought the economy down. The economy is no longer very stable. Even at the entrance to the stadiums, we were told that 40,000 people are entering. Half of them, 20,000. All this is playing out. The international competition dedicated to footballers playing in Africa will serve as a warm-up before the continent's premier football tournament, the much-awaited Africa Cup of Nations, which Cameroon will also host in January 2022.